In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my essential SEO research tools for affiliate marketeers. So these are my favorite tools that I use all the time when I'm doing my SEO. They help me find keywords, they help me gauge the competition, and they give me an insight into what's working on my site uh, currently and maybe what needs to be improved. So if you're looking to improve your search rankings, you're gonna to wanna to check out these tools. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, why not subscribe? You can do so right now just by clicking on the subscribe button below. Make sure you click that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about SEO tools for affiliate marketeers. And while we're talking about affiliate marketing, did you catch the video I posted yesterday? It was my interview with Tim, who is a regular viewer on WP Eagle. He's created an Amazon affiliate site following my videos and he's making some good money. So if you didn't see it, I suggest you go check it out. It's really inspiring. He shares some tips and tricks on how he got his website to where it is. And yeah, I think it's definitely worth checking out. There'll be a link up here in a card up there and you'll also find a link to that video in the description. So when it comes to SEO, personally, I think the biggest part of it and the most important part of SEO is doing your research. And research is basically all about finding the right keywords that have got some search volume, not too much maybe, but the main thing is they haven't got too much competition. So it enables you to create content around those keywords and easily rank because you're basically filling in the gaps that are there on Google where there's a kind of lack of information. So if you get your research right and you do identify the right keywords, you will find that getting ranking and doing SEO is a lot easier. I also think it's a good idea when it comes to SEO to have a good look at where your site is at the moment, what's working, what can be improved, uh, and kind of draw a lot from that uh, when you're planning out your content and planning out your SEO. So the good news is that in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some tools that will help you do both of those things. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing seven tools with you. The majority of them are free, so that's good news. You're not gonna to need to spend any money today, but I'm also gonna recommend a few that do have a premium option should you require it. You can find links to all of these tools in the description, and you'll also find the link down there to my post over on wpeagle.com, which is all about this video. You'll find some more words, and you'll find all the links and just basically some more details. So yeah, do go check out wpeagle.com, and you can also buy a t-shirt over there. So the first couple of tools I'm gonna to share with you today are all about looking at your site and where it's at right now. And the first one is Google Analytics, which I'm sure a lot of you are running on your site. Google Analytics is a free piece of software from Google, it allows you to track exactly what's going on on your website. So how many visitors you got, where they're coming from, how long they spend on the site, and basically tons more information, as much information as you can possibly handle. So if you haven't got it up and running on your site right now, I suggest you go and install it, set it up, it's free. I've done a number of videos on how to do this. I'll put links to these in the description. When it comes to looking at reports, I think a couple of really important reports to look at are your top content. So which content are people really looking at and engaging with, because that'll give you some ideas around, you know, more content to create. So, you know, start creating more content that's working based on what's already working also show you which content isn't performing so well, so you can steer clear of that in the future. I also think the acquisitions report is extremely important. It will show you where your traffic is coming from, and you might wanna drill down within the organic search section and get an idea on the keywords. However, when it comes to keywords, it can be quite limited within Google Analytics in terms of the information that it shares with you. So you're probably gonna to wanna to check the next tool to find more details on the keywords. The other report that I really like within Google Analytics under the acquisition section is the referrals report. This will show you which sites are sending you traffic and it also give you an idea of which sites are linking to you. So you can uh, then decide if you can find more of these sites or similar sites that could also link to you because as we know, inbound links are pretty important when it comes to SEO. So that's Google Analytics, it's free. Go get it, go and install it and go check out some reports.
So following on from Google Analytics, I've got another free Google tool now, which is gonna show you how well you are ranking on the Google search engine. And it is Google Search Console, previously known as Google Webmaster Tools. Once you add your site to Google Search Console, it'll start to give you loads of data in terms of how well you are ranking on the Google search engine, what keywords you're showing for, if there's any technical problems with your site that could be preventing you from showing up on the search engine, and a ton of other data that's uh, really useful in terms of working out what's working, what needs to be fixed, uh, and how well things are performing. Another really important feature of the Google Search Console, which is not actually to do with doing research, uh, but it's to do with getting your site indexed properly by Google, and that is the sitemap section, which enables you to submit an XML sitemap to Google and let Google know exactly which pages and posts you want to be indexed. If you'd like to learn more on how to do that, I'll put a link up in a card now, and there'll be a link to a video in the description that will show you exactly what you need to do. So that's two Google tools that you should certainly be running on your sites. I run them on every single site that I set up. They are essential. <laughs> They're essential if you wanna do well on Google and find out what's working on your site and what's not. So let's move on to some more traditional SEO research tools, tools that will enable you to find new keywords, plan out content and check out the competition. So keywords everywhere, I'm sure you're probably already running it. I mention it all the time, especially in my live streams, which by the way, happen every single Wednesday, half past eight UK time. Be good to see you there if you've not joined us previously. We talk about everything to do with WordPress and affiliate marketing and yeah, it's fun. You should join us. So keywords everywhere is a free extension for the Google Chrome browser. And it basically adds some extra data to the Google search results pages. It will give you some ideas for keywords. It will let you know the volume in terms of how many people are actually using that keyword every single month. So it's great for planning out content, for gauging the competition. It's what Doug Cunnington uses in his golden keyword ratio formula. Uh, and by the way, if you don't know what that is, I'll put a link to a playlist somewhere <laughs> that will go through exactly what that is and how to use it. But yeah, I love this extension. It, it, you know, just install it and you end up using it all the time because, you know, we use Google all the time and it just sits there and it doesn't get in the way and it's useful. So yeah, go get keywords everywhere. And I say you are gonna need Google Chrome, but that's free too. So there's no reason why not. The next one is SEM Rush. Now they offer a free service, which kind of delivers limited data, but it's still kind of useful. If you want to go the whole hog, it's $99 a month, which is yeah pretty steep. But for that, you get a whole load of data. So if you're really into data and you want to get as many keyword ideas as you possibly can, then SEM Rush might be for you. I believe they also offer a, a browser extension so you can kind of get data straight off the Google search results page. I know it's really popular with a number of SEOs, uh, SEO experts, I should say. So yeah, I think it's definitely worth checking out. And yeah, I use it sometimes, uh, but to be fair, I find keywords everywhere generally give similar information. So yeah, I think it's worth you go and check it out and uh, love to know what you think about it. Leave me a comment. Now this one is really good. It's called Uber Suggest and it's by the SEO internet marketing expert guru guy, Neil Patel. It's a free tool and basically you just punch in a domain name or some keywords and it will give you some ideas around volume and it'll also give you a competition score so you can get a quick idea in terms of how easy it's gonna to be to rank for that particular keyword. I really like it, it's got a lovely interface, really easy to use and if you can't be bothered to do keyword golden ratios and, and formulas and, and that kind of stuff to work out how much competition uh, there is around the keyword, then this tool might be for you because it cuts all that out and just tells you, yes, this keyword is gonna be easy to rank for or no, this keyword is gonna be difficult. So uh, if you're not already checking out Uber Suggest, you need to do so right now. So the next tool is Buzzsumo. It's a bit different to the other tools. This one is all around content. So you type in some keywords or a URL and it will show you the content that's being shared on social media to give you an idea on what's popular, what people are you know, sharing and it's going viral, what people are linking to. So you can get some inspiration for content for your site. 
I think it's a really good way to gauge what people want. <laughs> you know, give the people what they want, someone once said who was famous. So yeah, this tool helps you do that because you can see what people want because they're sharing it. Now, of course, don't copy the content that comes up on here. That would be silly because, you know, you're never gonna get anywhere by copying content and it's just not a very nice thing to do. Just use it purely as an inspirational tool to give you some really good ideas for content that you know that people are gonna want. Final tool today is another Google one, and it is Google Trends, which I use all the time. I think it's just a really useful tool. So if you've got some ideas around keywords, you can punch them into Google Trends. It will show you whether they're increasing or decreasing in terms of popularity. You can compare different keywords, so you can get an idea in terms of which one is more popular. And you can set it for different countries uh, over different time periods. So you can go back a few years, or you can just focus on, on this year or last year, whatever you like. It's a great free tool. And obviously, because it's powered by Google, you know the data is good. I mean, that is one little problem with some of the other tools that I mentioned today. They don't actually have access to Google's data. So they're kind of working it out based on formulae and equations and algorithms and that kind of stuff. But you know, with a Google tool, it is actual real Google data. So I think Google Trends is always worth checking out when you're doing your research. And just put some keywords through and, and see what you find out. So that brings the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you discovered some new tools that maybe you hadn't used before. Do go and check them out and let me know what you think. What's your favorite tool? Have I missed a really important tool that I should be recommending? We'd love to hear about that. Do leave me a comment below. Now there should be some videos that have appeared on the screen. Those videos have been chosen especially for you, so I hope you enjoy them. You can subscribe by clicking on the eagle and you can check out my vlog channel by clicking on my face. Hope to see you on the live stream, but until next time, bye for now.